Well, I think for me, uh, the importance of the Himalayas is, is the extent to which it dominates that part of Asia, really. Um, it controls the climate. Um, it's a, a, a major area of cultural and biological uh, diversity. And it's also, of course, the coming together of, of many interesting and fascinating countries in that region. And uh, what happens in the Himalayas uh, has an impact on the whole of that part of uh, Asia. And particularly, of course, on China and, and India in particular, but also Southeast Asia. So the Himalayas is a kind of a pivotal place, I think, for, for an academic institution that's, that's interested in the, in the future of that part of Asia and those two great economies in particular. Uh, the Himalayas is right at the center of all of that. Uh, the Yale School of Forestry and Environmental Studies has had a really strong and deep and ongoing relationship with, with countries in the Himalayas. Um, not only through uh, our ongoing work with colleagues in Bhutan, um, but also through long-established programs uh, in Nepal, particularly Professor Bill Birch and the work that he, he did there, um, but also um, with colleagues uh, in India. And, uh, and, and indeed, the, the long relationship that the school has had uh, with forestry in the government of India, based out of, of Dehradun, and our alums who are associated uh, in that part of India. So, so in a way, this is a very natural part of the world for the School of Forestry and Environmental Studies to be engaged with. And uh, because it plays to our long historical strengths, it, it plays to a real concentration of of uh, our alumni. And what I like in particular this is, is that it crosses borders. Uh, it's not a relationship with a particular country, it's a relationship with a region. And uh, I think that's really very, very important. And of course, that historical relationship with, with the Himalayas uh, also plays out in the present day. I mean, we have students right now uh, from India, students from Bhutan, students from, from Nepal. Um, and they're an active and vibrant part of our, of our Himalayan program. And what's wonderful is that they'll go back to the region and they'll join our existing alumni body in that region and they'll help to make things happen on the ground. And this school is very much concerned with what happens on the ground, what happens in practice. Uh, our PhD students from the region, our master's students from the region, and even interacting with undergraduates here at Yale, who are from or have an interest in the region. So there's, there's a lot of concentration on the Himalayas here, which I think is a really, really great thing. I think from, from the opportunities that I've had to visit uh, uh, the Himalayas, um, uh, what's been underlined to me is the kind of, um, the, the complexity of the region, the kind of cultural complexity, but also the, the huge uh, challenges they face in terms of infrastructure, but also the rapid changes that are going on in that region, just the same as they're going on everywhere else around the world. It's wonderful for me to see our alumni engaged uh, in different parts of these processes. It was fantastic for me to have my eyes opened to some of, the, some of these issues, uh, uh, many, many different kinds of issues, biological ones, physical ones, cultural ones. And I think that, that really the Himalayas is a wonderful place where, where we really can bring these three ideas of environment and livelihoods and culture and bring them together to really understand what's happening in the region.